What is going on YouTube? In this video, I'm going to show you a review of a Nexus 7 case I purchased on eBay. Here is the case. Uh, I purchased it for a mere $19 Canadian, which is almost the exact same dollar value as American dollars. It was free shipping um, in Canada, uh, in Ontario, which is where the seller is. So for the rest of Canada, I'm pretty sure it's free shipping. US, I'm not sure. International, I'm pretty sure there's shipping charges. Won't be that much. Um, and it's expedited sh shipping as an extra option in case you want it faster, you can pay a little bit extra. You can dish out a bit more cash. So $19 Canadian, this is what you're getting. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like without the tablet inside. And yes, it does rotate 360. Um, and you got the safety latch at the back. Uh, to prove to you guys, I'm actually using a Nexus 7. Here we have the Asus logo and Nexus, okay? So I just wanted to prove to you guys I'm actually using a Nexus 7 case I purchased. So the first thing I want to do is show you what it looks like without the tablet. I just want to show you how easy it is to get inside. So you just lift up the Velcro fitting, slide the tablet in. Then you put the Velcro fitting back underneath the tablet and you're done. That's how easy it is. Simple, right? Okay, so for accessibility, uh, actually, I should show you how nicely it fits first. It fits just perfect. i turn the screen on for you guys. Okay, so you can see everything perfectly well. There's a full screen. So there's no problem of wondering, okay, is this going to be a proper case or not? Actually, I should have mentioned the eBay seller link. I'm going to put that in the description below in case you want to buy the exact same case I'm demonstrating for you guys. So, uh, micro USB jack, uh, micro USB port rather, headphone jack are easy accessible volume and power key buttons. I'm not sure if you can see it, so I'm just going to demonstrate for you um, that I'm going to tap it without struggling much. See? Easily accessible. Volume keys. Whoops, I pressed the power button, my bad. Volume keys. Where are you? There's down. There's up. Easily accessible as well. It's not hard to reach. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. That's why I had to demonstrate it. And the front-facing cam has more than enough space at the front. The only thing that might have a little trouble reaching something is the dock connectors at the bottom. Now, right now, it's rumored that Asus will be releasing a official dock for the next 7. So yeah, it, it might be a bit difficult with the dock connectors. A little bit hard to reach. They are accessible, but hard to reach. But quite honestly, if you're going to get the official tablet dock, why would you use the case at the same time, right? Doesn't make sense. But I just thought I would mention that to you guys. Um, it does have a wake-up feature, so right now the screen is on, okay, case is closed, hands are free, screen turns on, close it back up, let me do it slowly so you guys can see, can you see it from this angle, probably not, okay, see the screen's off as I'm opening it up, screen turns on, off, on. I just wanted to demonstrate that for you guys properly. So it's a neat feature. Um, honestly, I never take it out of this case ever since I got it, even when I'm just sitting and lounging at home, reading some uh, comics on it or something. What else? Okay, so it's 360. Okay, rotates 360. And you have three notches here for which you can adjust where you want it to stand. If it's fine, fine. And of course, this is probably the easiest because it's the lowest. It does rotate, okay, see, hands are free, it fits fine, it fits okay, and again, it's fine, hands are free, it's not struggling, it's, there's no scare of it falling down, the notches are pretty deep, so it's just great. There's no kickstand at the back, as you see, it's actually just resting on itself, okay? Now, in terms of thickness, uh, it is a little thick at the bottom because it does have a ro it does rotate. So this is the, the bottom layer is the case itself. The inner layer is what's holding the tablet, as you can see all around. But it's also where it swivels 360. Okay, so that's why you have double layer at the bottom to allow it to rotate. It's not going to go anywhere. You have leather enc enclosure here, here at the top, and I, I already showed you at the bottom. You got two. The tablet is not going to go anywhere out of this case. <laughs> Trust me, it's not moving. I believe those are the main features. It does have a safety latch in case you're carrying it. You can just pull this around to the front. Now, in terms of score, I would honestly give it a 4.5 out of 5. That's a great score. Like I said, I will be linking the seller or this exact product page in the description below if you want to order the same thing. 
It's 19 bucks. You can't go wrong. The casing is hard. The but the outer layer is really soft because it is leather. It feels great. It looks very very sleek. Very uh, I guess professional business type. Um, the reason I give it a four is because you're getting a great quality case. That's what gives it such a high score. Now the reason it lost a 0.5 and was very close to a perfect but didn't get it is because a lot of other tablet cases you get velcro along the top and bottom edges here so you can actually adjust it even here 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 anywhere you want because the velcro would be customizable it'll allow you to go anywhere whereas you're stuck with these three notches quite honestly the angles are just perfect with these three notches um, but it's just a it would have been a nice little feature to have that the other issue is that this strap which encloses it is extremely tight there, finally I got it out. Okay, so as you can see, it it wasn't too big of a struggle, but it was a little struggle, and it's on. The case, the, the, the tablet's not gonna fall anywhere. My only gripe is that I'm not a fan of this type of material. I find that these type of straps tend to break with most cases. I'm not saying that this one will, or it's not even starting to rip just yet, but I just had previous bad exper uh, uh, experiences. That's the word I'm trying to get. I would have much rather preferred to get some sort of magnetic lock that flaps from the back around to the top or even like a button lock or something uh, where the tablet closes, okay? Um, another perk I forgot to mention is here you can see you can fit a stylus pen or regular pen if you want. I forgot to mention that one little feature. You can order stylus pens from eBay too. Uh, but yeah, it's just the customizable adjustments and the latch, I'm not too big of a fan of. That's why I got a four and a half out of five. Still a great score. Score, and for 19 bucks, you're getting great, great dollar value. So that's my review. Um, there are a ton of cases on eBay. You don't have to pick this one in particular, but I would recommend you highly check it out. It's worth every penny. And if you found this video useful, check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.